Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about how it's your final day to qualify for Rockstar's free $1 million, as well as everything else that's going to be going away by the end of the day, and we'll also hear from Insider Tez Funds too on how he believes Rockstar is going to make the next DLC have some significant changes to the Diamond Casino heist. We'll be talking about all of that and more in this video today. So let's talk about the things that are going away when I'm recording this video. It is Wednesday, April 15th, which means that over the next 24 hours, the following bonuses, discounts, and sales are going to be going away. So the first is triple cash and RP on a couple of modes this week. The first is the stockpile adversary mode, which was added in the Smuggler's Run update a couple of years ago. You can also get three times money in RP in Air Force Zero. And the same thing, you can get triple cash in RP for joining in on the top fun uh, adversary mode. So there you go. You've got three times money in RP in those game modes. And you can also get double money by doing any smugglers run cell missions. So what I would recommend doing is hopping on Grand Theft Auto Online and going to your hangar. And if you see you have any supplies whatsoever, sell them today versus waiting tomorrow because you'll literally be losing out on twice the potential payout. After that, it's also your final day in which you can win the Impante Deluxo by spinning the lucky wheel. And sometimes Rockstar puts vehicles on there that aren't all that expensive or useful. This is quite the opposite on both those fronts. The Deluxo is incredibly expensive and it's also one of the best weaponized vehicles in the game. So I'm sure you know about its weaponized capabilities by now, but if you're unfamiliar with the price, it has a buy it now price of $4,721,000 and a trade price of $3,550,000. So you're literally saving yourself either between three and a half to $5 million by the time you get done customizing it when it's all said and done. So I would honestly spin the lucky wheel as many times as you can. Why not? And today is your last day in order to get this vehicle for free. It's also your last day to get some nice discounts too, including 60% off of hangers, hanger modifications and add-ons, 50% off of the buzzard attack chopper, 60% off of the P996 laser jet, 50% off the Prince Bay Devastate 8 uh, supercar, and 50% off of the Benefactor Schlagen GT. So if you're interested in any of those vehicles, get them now uh, rather than waiting tomorrow. Although, if there is something that you want in Grand Theft Auto Online that is currently not on discount, do not buy it. Wait for the new bonuses, discounts, and sales that will be arriving tomorrow. Like, don't go out and buy like an adder. Because you never know, tomorrow it might be 60 or 70% off. So just don't do it. Be patient. Wait to see what the current sales are before you end up diving into things. Now, the last thing I can remind you guys about, and this is an important one, it's also your final day to complete a total of 10 daily objectives to not only get the J Lager beer hat, but also get an additional $1 million. So I don't know how far along you guys are. If you're like myself, I have already completed the 10 daily objectives. So I have the beer hat. I also have the $1 million, but maybe you guys have only completed seven. Maybe you're at eight or nine. You only need one more. This is your last day in which you can get the money. Now, unfortunately, as I've been warning you throughout the week, if you don't have at least seven daily objectives completed, you can't qualify because by the time Thursday roll arounds, We'll be at a new event week, which means the challenge will be over. So hopefully you guys have been listening over the last couple of weeks and you ended up you know, doing your amount of daily objectives so that you could qualify for the million dollars. And we've talked about a lot of secrets on how you can make this better. Like if you do it on your second character, you can get a bonus $1 million to go along with the like endless supply of $500,000 gifts that Rockstar have been handing out in GTA Online all through this week as well, which we've been talking about. So some players have been getting like, you know, four or five million dollars for free, which is just nuts. But uh, yeah, that's what's been going on. And today is your final day to take advantage of that. 
Now, moving on, let's talk about some things that Rockstar might end up doing to the next update in Grand Theft Auto Online. There was some talk about the casino heist and whether or not Rockstar considered it a success or not. Someone ended up saying, I may add that I don't know already who said that wanted a new heist, but IDK if Rockstar is willing to do it again. In fact, I think that today they regret the way they did the casino heist approaches and payouts because people are grinding them like heck and getting rich as F, which means a lot of shark cards will not be sold in the next update. And Insider Test Funds 2 said regret. I'm sure they're quite happy that the casino heist turned out to be highly replayable. It's what they wanted the heist to be like in the first place. Despite that, I'm sure we would get some changes to the casino heist with the next update, considering that Rockstar pushed a stealth update to make it a bit harder. Okay, now that's interesting. So I think there's two things that Rockstar could do to limit people's payouts in the Diamond Casino Heist. The first thing they could do is make the heist itself harder. They could cut off the amount of escape routes. They could add more guards, which means that choosing the hard option, giving you more money, would be accomplished less often. Or they could just make normal mode a little bit harder by adding you know, trickier routes that you have to take making objects further away that you need to get, and thus people would find it a little bit harder. They may not grind it as much. They may not complete it as often. That's one way. The next thing they could do is limit how many times per day you could actually complete the heist, if that is something Rockstar is genuinely worried about. And believe it or not, they could actually do it in a pretty realistic way. To me, that's one of the funniest things about the casino heist is the fact that you're just continuously robbing it over and over and over again. Now, I know Grand Theft Auto Online is not supposed to mimic real life or be super realistic, but you would think an entity getting robbed over and over again would like say, hey, what's going on here? Can we stop this from happening? And to a degree, Rockstar kind of does that because you can't do the same setup twice in a row, meaning that they might have caught on to your first approach. So I guess that kind of makes sense. But maybe they would limit like one approach per day. Like you could only do silent and stealthy once per day, which means you can only do three casino heists in a 24 hour period, like the lucky wheel. And then when that 24 hour period rolled up, you could do all three again. That's one way in which that could limit people's ability and also sort of spin it in a way saying like the diamonds casinos resorts security has stepped up and now they can only rob it a limited number of times. That's just kind of how I'm thinking they might end up playing that out. But that'll be interesting to think about. And it looks like they've already made more changes in that stealth update that that individual talked about. So in that stealth update, they like blockaded off some entrances and exits. They added more guards. But someone ended up saying, out of curiosity, did they change where the getaway cars spawn with that stealth update? Because it seems Taliana no longer parks the cars in the horse stalls north of the horse track, but instead at the downtown Cabco parking lot. She's parked them there the last five times I've done that heist using her. Eddie Toe parks them even further out of the way across the freeway and a lot close to the police station when before they would either spawn in the infield of the horse track or at the horse stalls. And Insider Test Funds 2 said, yes, I believe they also changed the clean car locations. So you've already seen Rockstar trying to make the heist harder. Maybe they felt like it was too easy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a super noob because I find the heist not to be all that easy. Maybe it's because I don't play enough Grand Theft Auto Online. Maybe I'm just bad, which is a very likely possibility. But regardless, that is a change that I had never noticed until now. But it's clear that Rockstar definitely has been making changes. And the update after the one we just got which is going to be the Diamond Casino Heist, always has a ton of fixes to it because there's only so many things that Rockstar can do with a downloadable update. So yeah, it wouldn't shock me if there's just a ton of increases in difficulty to the Casino Heist during the next update. Now, speaking of the next update in Grand Theft Auto Online, let's go with what Rockstar is doing next in the drip feed or at least might be doing next in the drip feed. This comes from Insider Tez Funds 2. He said, hmm, dot, dot, dot. And you might notice there's some hidden content there. He linked a live stream that's going to be happening with a member of the uh, GTA community, GTA GFX, on his Twitch channel. Rockstar is actually going to be joining him. And that's happening tomorrow, Thursday, 
April 16th at 7 p.m. BST. And they're doing open wheel races and other shenanigans. And Insider Test Funds 2 said, are we getting the R88 on the casino podium this week alongside some bonuses on open wheel races? Question mark. Or it could be an entirely different event. And it's just the community team trying out some open wheel races. But he brings up a good point. You know, if the event that's going on this week is all about open wheel races, that would actually be cool if they joined someone from the community and then got involved with some open wheel races. And at the same rate, it would also be neat if they put the R88 back on the podium so that players could win it for free. Remember, they did that with the Progen PR4 the week before the open wheel races came out. So if they did that again, maybe it would inspire more people to jump back into the open wheel races, especially if they can win one of those Formula One style vehicles for free. And the final thing we'll be discussing in this video today, remember that weird leak that we talked about that has been making its rounds on the internet about Grand Theft Auto Online saying that the person is at university and their roommate is a Rockstar employee and like 100 Rockstar North employees were fired. Well, Insider Tez Funds 2 chimed in on this. He said, I'm more surprised that 100 Rockstar North employees were fired last week. Sounds more believable to all of you than all his ideas. If that was true, gaming sites would be talking about it nowadays, especially in the current crisis. Talk about the links this dude went to make his leaks look more legit. My cousin was fired last week. He was so angry. He spit out the whole roadmap for the game he was working on. And that's usually the thing with leaks. When it's like a weird wish list or has a funky backstory, it's usually fake. And in this case, it's definitely not real, especially when the thing that they said makes it believable is having like 100 people lose their job at Rockstar North, which not only would be terrible, but, you know, we would have heard about it. Like Insider Tez Funds 2 said, gaming sites would have ended up picking up on it. So it's definitely not true. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think is going to happen in the next update with the casino heist? What do you think is going to happen tomorrow with the next drip feed event? And let us know if you were able to complete all 10 daily objectives to get your free $1 million. Again, we'll hear from you guys in the comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.